everyone, my name is Kevin and we are doing an at-home story time today to get ready for an upcoming exhibit we have called Everyday People, the Art of James E. Ransom, which was created by the National Center for Children's Illustrated Literature and sponsored by the CFP Foundation. And so today's book, which we are going to look at, is called Benny Goodman and Teddy Wilson, Taking the Stage as the First Black and White Jazz Band in History. It is written by Lisa Klein Ransom and illustrated by James E. Ransom. So this whole exhibit we have coming up is going to feature the artwork of James E. Ransom. So let's get started. Benny Goodman and Teddy Wilson. Chicago's West Side, Colts Electric Park, 1922. Pop, boom, pop, boom. Above Benny, the 4th of July exploded, 100 colors, loud, live, and hot. In front of him, the jazz band, clarinet, piano, drums, pop, boom, pop, boom. Benny sat, toe tapping, finger snapping, listening. Tuskegee, Alabama, Tuskegee College, 1926. Outside Teddy's window, birds sang, tweet drum chirp, tweet drum chirp. Inside on the gramophone, record spinning, needle scratching, horns blowing. Duke Ellington, Fats Waller, Earl Hines on piano, light as a feather, ting ping tap, ting ping tap. Teddy stood, toe tapping, finger snapping, listening. Benny walked down Maxwell Street with his brothers and dad, past streetcars, around peddlers, away from gang fights, into free concerts, lessons, and music with the synagogue marching band, one instrument for each brother, largest to smallest, a tuba for Harry, a trumpet for Freddie, a clarinet for Benny. Dirt roads, farms, and classrooms, letters, books, pride, and music filled Teddy and his brother, trombone for Gus, violin, oboe, clarinet, and piano for Teddy. Benny practiced when the kids were outside playing, when his mother called him to supper, when everyone was trying to sleep, the music from his tutor, from sheets of German music, tight, toot, formal, toot, noon, dodds, New Orleans Rhythm Kings, black and blues, mellow and loose. Teddy practiced, reeds and brass, recitals and concerts, reading bass and treble clefs. With his tutor, ping overtures, ping etudes, Chopin, Bach, but Duke, Fats, and Hines, he copied note by note, black and blues, mellow and loose. On stage, in bow tie and knickers, whole house band playing soft, sweet notes at dances, amusement parks and picnics, Benny blowing, bleeding, breathing, music into Benny's clarinet. Summer vacation in Detroit, hot outside, hotter inside. The Greystone Ballroom, no records, only real live jazz. McKinney's Cotton Pickers and Fletcher Henderson notes rippling and rumbling onto the dance floor, out into the streets, into Teddy's piano. Midway Gardens, Rendezvous Cafe, The Black Hawk, Benny's Clarinet Blue, into town, west side, south side, downtown, and out again. All sweet, all dance, all white, all the way to New York. Louis Armstrong loved him. Art Tatum taught him on the road with the Lawrence Speed Web Band. Teddy tickled the keys in Texas, in Nebraska, in Louisiana. All hot, all rhythm, all black, all the way to New York. Only late at night, in jam sessions, in recording sessions, in Harlem, offstage, backstage, on vinyl, or black and white together. When Benny's music swung, 
with the best fast fingering, drums thumping, trumpets trumping. It wasn't soft, it wasn't black, it wasn't sweet, it wasn't white, it was swing. And then Benny met Teddy in Forest Hills, New York. Just for fun, they played cool, mellow jazz. We are thinking with the same brain, said Benny, when his clarinet and Teddy's piano blended into one beautiful melody. First they talked, next they planned, finally they recorded, after you've gone. Body and soul, someday sweetheart, with Gene Krupa on drums, on records they became the Benny Goodman Trio. In front of audience, the trio went on without Teddy. Audiences weren't ready for a black and white band. But finally, Betty said yes, not to be brave, not to be bold. We just did it, said Benny. For the first time ever, black and white together, the three of us, as if we had been born to play this way. The audiences were ready, and they stayed, and they grew, and they cheered for the band they heard on records for the original Benny Goodman Trio. Congress Hotel, Chicago, 1936. Now on stage, front stage, playing as one with Lionel Hampton. On vibraphone, a trio grew into a quartet. Drums and vibes, clarinet and piano, Gene and Lionel, Benny and Teddy, together. Sing, sing, sing. Moon glow, memories of you. Teddy bowed low, fingers tiptoeing across the keys, trumpet-style piano, octaves on his right, harmony on his left. Benny's clarinet high, blowing long, then quick, blowing long, then quick, while Lionel's vibraphone echoed in back and Gene swept in the bass drum. Tapping in time, all ears, all eyes, Benny watching, listening, directing, drum solo. Piano break, four bars. You take the next course. Up first was Benny, then Teddy. In came Gene and Lionel. They blew, they tapped, they banged, they strummed. The stage was hot, the dance floor was hotter, the music was hottest. Partners spun and swayed in and out together, apart and back around, all over the dance floor. Pop, boom, tweet drum, black, blues, hot, rhythm. Now it was swing. And that's the end. So I really hope you enjoyed this story time from our upcoming exhibit, Everyday People, The Art of James E. Ransom, sponsored by CFP Foundation. We really hope you guys will come out and see it. He's got some great artwork. So whenever we do come open up, Come by, see all of his artwork. We've got a lot of different books, including this one, Benny Goodman and Teddy Wilson. So you can come read the book. In the back there gives a lot of great information about jazz, swing, who the major artists were in a timeline of events. So we'll have a lot of cool things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Once again, my name is Kevin, and I hope you come back and check out the exhibit.